I have been broke most of my life. Whoa. Um, yeah, I, I think I only first started to earn um, when I was about 29. You know, it was growing pains, like learning how to save, um, even if it's just little by little. I invest in uh, stocks and bonds, uh, real estate. Okay. Um, invest in businesses and I knew uh, like there would be a breaking point like if I didn't invest in something that would help me continually earning mm -hmm. if I didn't in do it n now now that I'm in my earning years I know that like if ever my earning years were to like end mm -hmm. I would be in trouble in this video we interview Mikey Bustos youtuber content creator entrepreneur we talk about his money journey his struggles in saving and investing his struggles also when he was starting out how did he make his money how did he make his wealth how did he start saving what was the shift on how he moved from being broke to being an investor today and being a content creator and being an entrepreneur i hope this video encourages you i hope this video inspires you that wherever you are and whatever you're doing regardless of what your background is that you get to start that you get to reach your goals of financial freedom that you get to push that it's not as hard as what most people think it is and that's why we make videos like this so that you can see it from the lives of other people that it's not so hard but it's also something that you need to spend a lot of time to work to hustle so that you can reach your goals so that you can be free and so that you can live the life that you want as well. Please remember this, investing, entrepreneurship is not just about money, but it's about you living the life that you want. It's about you living life at your own terms. So enjoy this video. Management friends. Go check it out. What's uh, your channel called? Uh, Marvin Dermo. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. Hey guys, we're in for a treat. We're with Mikey Bustos. You all know him. Very, very, very popular YouTuber. So, Hi guys. <laughs> In this video, I want to know, uh, how did you start? What's your journey towards finances, towards business? How did, Whoa. how do you go through it? Okay, well, um, it's been a long learning curve. Mm -hmm. I do feel like the world of money and finance definitely needs to be taught in school. Mm -hmm. I think they do now, I, but not before. Like in my time, we didn't, we weren't taught about money. It, it is, but the biggest roadblock now is the ones that are teaching. Uh, the teachers they're also in debt so they, uh, they don't they don't feel so confident yes uh, yes yes so the narrative is how can i teach about this if i myself um i'm having a hard time in my yeah finances. sure right so, correct yeah yeah well so i have been broke most of my life Whoa. um yeah i i think i only first started to earn um when i was about 29 okay 30. Okay. yeah um i i met a mentor who kind of switched my mentality and in our conversation with money mm -hmm. um, and uh, taught me to be a businessman. So I um, started a company making ant farms in my okay. basement. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, that started a little, I guess, a home business. And mm -hmm. that's when I started to earn um, for myself and crawl out of the debt hole, right? Uh, that I had put myself into through my 20s and then as I started to earn more and more um, You know, it was growing pains like learning how to save um, Even if it's just little by little and then eventually I invested in my condo and paid it all off and then um, I continued to uh, invest um, I invest in uh, stocks and bonds uh, real estate Okay. Um, invest in businesses uh, and um, yeah, it's it's really a, a, a science. Like the whole thing with money is, it, it's definitely a science that needs to be learned. This, this is so interesting. Uh, from the time you you were broke at twenty nine, yeah. how, how many years did it take before you uh, you started investing in real estate? Because real estate is not an entry level investment. The money that yeah. you put into that is relatively uh, larger. Also, mm -hmm. uh, was because a lot of Filipinos think that. I can get rich quick it's all about get rich quick for you I, I always spouse that it's all about the process that you get rich right because if you get rich right uh, more money won't destroy you and you see a lot yes. of millionaires lose it quickly. yes yes I knew um, I had to be smart about it so um, I read a lot of books like financial books of course um, think and grow rich the famous ones mm. um, uh, 
a lot of uh, stuff by Napoleon Hill and I really took the whole learning of the science of money serious okay. um, and I also made a lot of friends who um, were wealthy themselves mm. um, who I was able to learn from and ask questions because again there's so much to learn um, and so it was actually a learning curve you know learning how to invest and save mm -hmm. saving mm -hmm. was the biggest thing mm. I realized how much I was spending mm -hmm. on just like partying mm. um, and just random things that I didn't need like rat like shoes <laughs> um, so when I when I was able to shake that out of my behavior mm -hmm. um, I was able to save and invest in my future and invest in earning more money and in making money earn for me was this all when you were in Canada or went back to uh, the Philippines already? it started in Canada uh -huh. but then uh -huh. it kind of like I, I I really came to learn about mm -hmm. money making here in Philippines mm -hmm. like as I was earning you know what I mean and I knew uh, like there would be a breaking point like if I didn't invest in something that would help me continually earning mm -hmm. if I didn't in do it n now now that I'm in my earning years I know that like if ever my earning years were to like end mm -hmm. I would be in trouble I would be broke and I don't want to ever be broke I hated being broke I hated asking my dad for money what's what's the worst thing when you when you lost a lot of money when you were when you were broke was there one particular item that you spent a lot then after buying it sana hindi ko na to binili sayang i should have bought something else or i should have saved the money um yeah i spent a lot on shoes okay it was <laughs> um, shoes okay. and also i mean random things just like going to the bar every day mm. when i moved to philippines mm -hmm. i mean i was overwhelmed mm. right um I was on TV, I was mm. doing television mm. and all of this. It was my first taste of like international, like fame in the Philippines, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. that whole thing. Um, and so I partied every single night okay. for like a oh. year and a half. And that got, that got expensive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like I was spending 5,000 pesos a night. Was it also because when you convert uh, Canadian dollars to the Philippines, everything looks so, so cheap? That's why, oh, I, um, I get to buy this for one piece in Canada and I get to buy all of this in the Philippines? Um, partially, but I mean, working in the Philippines, I was also making pesos. Okay, so, okay. Um, so yeah, then I started to calculate like how much I was spending mm -hmm. a year on just partying. And that... Sh so, when I was able to pay more attention to my budgeting, I think that's when things turned around for me. Mm. Yeah, I was able to pay off my condo, like I said before, um, and uh, spend my money much more wisely and mm. it also helped to have a partner and um, a manager mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. um, was very frugal mm. <laughs> um, my boyfriend RJ okay. he is he handles all the money so I don't got to think about that yeah um, it helps to have a team uh, someone on your team to help you manage your money okay mm -hmm. so we'll just end with this because half my flights have been, uh, is, is boarding already yeah you're gonna uh, miss your flight yeah. uh, uh, tips for people who have a hard time at least investing or saving money, especially for millennials who always think that YOLO, spend everything now, travel now, do everything, and they're not preparing for the future. And I always tell people, you prepare today because what if you live longer? You need to have something today that will allow you to also live the life that you want when you're, when you're older. Correct. Um, well, um, I guess my biggest tip would be to save. Like, even if when I was first saving, mm -hmm. like, Do you have like a percentage of how much you save per, per month or yeah, per month comes your um, way? I, at first, uh -huh. I tried to save like as high as 60 to 70 percent of my income. Whoa. Yeah, but um, if you can even save 10 percent, okay. like, and, and even if that means just like a couple hundred pesos, mm -hmm. like at least you're showing the universe and like god and life that you're capable of handling money and then eventually um things your your ability to save will, will grow mm. the, um i actually have i know that sounds weird but i have a video i have okay. a vlog on my vlogging channel mikey busos vlogs where i talk about um good morning how to and think thank you for waiting philippine airlines flight pr 1815 bound for davao is now ready to accept passengers for boarding through gate number 15. Once again, Philippine Airlines Flight PR 1815 bound for Davao is now boarding at gate number 15. How to think um, like the rich and wealth consciousness. So go check that out. Maybe it might help you. It's like a, it's like a 30 minute video. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so best of luck all you guys. 
Go, go, go. Save, save, save. Yeah. Keep on saving, guys. Please remember this. It's never about how much you make, but what you do with the money that comes your way. So we feature different people, different industries, different uh, walks of life to help you guys, inspire you that. So you can make money and you can reach your goals of financial freedom. Please follow Mikey Bustos. He has an amazing channel. Super, super one of the best YouTubers here in the country. So I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.